Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we're having another day of playing Crazy Week. Welcome to day number two. Today, we're actually going to be building something, another thing that you guys requested, quite a few of you, and that is going to be a rocket ship. Now, I've actually built a rocket ship before, and I'm going to load it up really quick if I still have it saved somewhere. I think I do. Big plane rocket ship. There it is. Okay. So this was my rocket ship from before. Uh, as you can see, lots of things can be worked on in this. This is definitely not the best looking rocket in the world. However, today, we're going to be building a whole new rocket, and I think everybody's starting to catch on. Oh, they're making fun of my stairs. Okay, so yeah, th this was made quite a while ago, but we're going we're gonna to build us ourselves a new one. We're going to build a new rocket. It's going to look much better, and uh, we're going to see what we can do. Now, I have learned quite a bit more from uh, just building and making stuff and making stuff look better. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making a whole new rocket. It's going to look much better. And uh, I'm excited to see what it turns out to be. So let's get this base started. I'm thinking we're going to get a three-stage rocket if I can, if I can figure out how to make it. That's going to be the plan, at least. Um, I don't know how big this thing needs to be. Maybe like, I don't know, something like that. So let's just put this all nice and together and if we can just get the base down we should be able to build up from there I just want to get the base in here so I have an idea of what we're working on and what how big our area is gonna be so this is gonna be our main central rocket it's gonna have all the passengers it's gonna have the main thruster but I also want to add a second stage into it because the first stage is going to be the two extra booster rockets on the side splitting off and then the second stage is going to be a smaller pod splitting off from the big rocket so I'm gonna try see if I can figure out how to make that um, I think the the one in the inside might be a little bit more difficult than the one on the sides because I've done those before but uh, we'll see what happens and I guess it's time for me to just start building it can get pretty tall okay so that's as tall as it can be it can only be this tall and that's the boundaries I'm going to be having to work in. Now, we're going to be kind of building off this. I'm going to lower this down just a little bit more. But the way that we're going to set up our rocket is we're actually going to do something a little bit different for uh, the way that the top part is going to be. Because most, most rockets, they kind of like come to a nice point. But ours is going to be... Well, we might, we might put it to a point, actually, now that I think about it. Because a point would be nice. But I just want to have like a really cool-looking like viewing area to look out of but uh, we'll see what we can do because it's going to be very difficult to figure it all out and what is going on there, there there's a lot of people in the server today and uh along with it a lot of lag so hopefully that doesn't affect my building so we've kind of got sort of like how tall this thing's going to be now i'm just going to add on our point. And I've got I gotta figure I kinda gotta lab out how this point is gonna go on because I'm really not totally sure how I'm gonna attach this. I'm thinking if we just kinda use because I, I love my wedge blocks now. I've started to learn how to use them properly and I think we're gonna be using them a lot more. Um Yeah, I don't know exactly how this is gonna turn out. We might have to kinda shave down on the sides a little bit, because I don't know how much more space we have. How much more space do we have? Oh, we got, we got quite a bit more space. We still got some, some, a little bit of size to play around with at least. So we might not be totally in trouble here if we set up kind of like something like this, and if we just slowly bring it up. But uh, that's to be seen. But right now I'm gonna try this, and then if I have to adjust the sizes or anything like that, I will. I'll be honest, it's kind of nerve-wracking up being this high trying to build. I should probably build, like, a nice little safety platform for myself because uh, the amount of times I've almost fallen off this thing is is is, uh, is, is, is quite a lot, actually. I uh, probably shouldn't be doing this without some proper safety things because here at uh, the good old Dragon Platinum Building Company, we, we, uh, we care about your safety. Or at least my safety, so I don't fall, what, like 10 stories down to my doom? We'll be fine. It'll be okay. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. All right, so we've got that. We got a nice sort of nose cone looking shape. 
Now I'm actually going to try to kind of curve it back in a little bit because we want to make it sort of like a not a stick body but like like a thinner a thinner body because some jets come in and they're they're really just big chonky boys and they they don't care but I'm gonna make mine so that it's kind of got like a, a thicker top part for passengers and all the people in there and then it's gonna just kind of slim down a little bit which I'm gonna try to do around this midsection to allow for just I don't know cooler looks maybe I have no idea we're gonna figure it out alright so we've kinda got the top of our ship completed and the way that I'm seeing this going is that we're actually gonna stick some boosters in here and I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work, but the way that I kind of want to do it is I want to have sort of like a ring go around here. Oh god, a uh, little bit of lag. Server, <laughs> server has a lot of people in it right now. Uh, we got a, a ring going around like this, and then we're going to have the main body of the ship kind of come up like this. So if we put two blocks in here, something like like that, and these can be our connector blocks, and then we can have the body kind of come up like in here. So, okay, let me remove these. Oh my god, was, was that a tank that just flew by? <laughs> what is going on out here? Oh my god, there's even race cars and everything going on. Um, yeah, we're going to build like a sleeker, smaller body, and it is going to go right up the center. So we're actually going to use what we used last time. We're going to take, first of all, we're going to take wedges, and these guys are just going to kind of sit like, are we, we going to have to use half wedges, possibly? I'm really not sure how this center piece is going to look. I might have to kind of configure it a little bit so that it works properly with the overall design without absolutely messing up something. Okay, so the way I'm seeing it right now is we're going to have something like this where there's going to be little gaps here. I might actually just have to add like some sort of block to cover that. Just something like that where it doesn't interfere with anything but uh, just patches the hole up. And we don't have anything touching here, so then we can just put our connectors, uh, wherever they are, disconnectors, uh, we put these like that, and like this, so that should be fine, and then we can add, or how do I want to do this? I want to, I want to, so that holds that on, so that should be fine, so if I hop out, and I go down, then I can take blocks and just go like that, and then, yeah, something like this should be fine, I think. Oh my god, that is cool. Yeah, don't ask me how to build that, I, I couldn't tell you. That thing looks really cool, though. Uh, but what I can tell you is that we are making progress, slowly but surely, on the design of this part here and we're getting really close we're getting super close I think I've kind of figured out to a way where it's not going to do anything too bad actually let me just I don't have a plane I don't have a pilot seat down so I can't test it just yet but we will test it soon and we shouldn't have too much of a problem okay so I've kind of got the body built a little bit here uh, we do need to add some rockets to it obviously and I just kind of wanted to test and see if the separation method actually works. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to go back to the drawing board, and that's going to suck. But let's just quickly pop a seat down here. Uh, just throw a seat down. Okay, perfect. Start our plane. So that should fall. Did it... Was it even connected? I don't think it was even connected. Hmm. Oh, the top wasn't even connected either. Okay, that's a few things we gotta fix there. Press G. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Okay. So the disconnecting function works. Uh, we can close that up. Now we need to take a base. We need, we need to add a base to this. This just needs a big ol' 
chunky base, and I'm going to have to build one for it. Give it a test. So we start up our rockets. I don't know if we're going to go anywhere, but let's just do that. So we're going up. We're doing our thing, then we press G. That would disconnect it. We'd be able to turn this off. That should take off. And separate, 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 separate. Well, they will separate eventually. There we go. So they do separate. Um, we just need to add some more stuff to it. So now we need to build the booster rockets. And that's going to be a whole nother adventure that we're going to have to figure out. Um, I don't know how big I want to make them just yet. I know that they have to be somewhat big. But uh, I don't know how big just yet. I'm thinking maybe if we do something like this. Okay, so scratch that. They're actually going to be a little bit smaller. And we're going to do something like this. So we're going to have a protective case around four big rockets like this perfect and that's what it's gonna be so this is gonna be just a single booster rocket and we're gonna need to now just build this all the way up round at the top attach the disconnectors and then we should be good to go okay that took a long long time to make um, but I am pretty happy with the way that it turned out we've got our we lift this up can we even yeah we can lift up by one okay so there is one booster rocket that took an insanely long time to finish up but we can quickly give a test to where's our disconnectors so let's just quickly add some disconnectors here and perfect let's just give it a test I don't think I have a seat. I do not. Hold on. Alright, quick test. Let's just see how this goes. Uh, there goes the plane. Disconnectors. Do they work? Okay, the plane is just kind of gone. Yes, they, they disconnect perfectly. Okay. Good, 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 good. Now I've just got to rebuild <laughs> this here. And that's going to take a while. Well, here's to building. <laughs> okay, it's been what feels like hours since my last check-in, but we've finished the second booster rocket. And now that I'm looking at it, I built it one too close. Oh man, this is not going to be good. Okay, so that took like a year, but... We have finally fixed both the rockets, and they are finally symmetrical. Now, I have to worry about actually getting it up in the air, and if we look, at least at the moment, uh, we don't seem to have enough power to get up into the air. So we're going to need to add more rockets to the insides, and do that. That's going to be fun. Okay, well, this at least this is easier, and shouldn't take as long. Test number 50 bajillion. Here we go. Come on. Okay. I don't know why it took off so sharply to the right. Hold on. Let's just try that one more time. Come on. Don't take off so hard. Okay. There is a huge imbalance and I don't know what it is. So now I've got to go hunt for an imbalance in the ship. There we go. That is much better. Now we are actually flying straight. We can break these off. Those go away. And we just get our normal rocket. And then say we want to cut off the normal rocket. So we turn this off. And then we press G. And there we go. Our stage is working. We got like kind of like an egg looking thing here. Okay. So... That's all good. Everything works fine. I think I'm just going to give this thing a paint job and maybe add some more rockets to in here. But other than that, I think we're ready to go. 
Okay, this took an insanely long amount of time, but we're finally here and able to test fly it. Let's give it the old blast off. Oh my gosh, there we go. We're working. We're looking good too. Okay, uh, let's disconnect stage number one. Stage number one is in the process of disconnecting. It's kind of caught on me. Oh god. Okay, there goes stage number one. Perfect. Continuing to climb in altitude, I think. Let's just pretend that we're in space. Okay, we're in space. Alright, we're high enough up. Let's disconnect again. Okay, turn off the booster. Perfect. And separation, we're now in space. And there we go. We are now floating around in space. I probably should have uh, put this to... Oh, much better. Look at that. Now we're in space. <laughs> Just like that. But yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, there's obviously a lot more things I could add to this rocket, but I've been working on it for almost three hours. And let's just say the hand started to cramp up around hour two. It, it took a long time to build this. But in my eyes, it turned out pretty cool looking. I'm so happy with how this turned out. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I know that it probably was a lot of stop and start, stop and start, because it took quite a while to build this thing. And... Uh, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be worked on. But overall, I think it turned out pretty good. It's definitely one of my new biggest builds now. It's got over two, it's like, I think it was like 2,500 blocks. So it was a big boy. It was a very big boy. And uh, I'm just, I'm just happy that it turned out all right. But anyways, guys, like I said, day two of playing crazy. That's all I've really got for this video. So hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum. <laughs> Signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye.